My name is William Bendix, and I don't have a secret. I've got a secret brought to you tonight by Bristol Myers, makers of Buffrin. The modern drug that brings relief from headache pain, protects against stomach discomfort. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you ever so much. Good evening and welcome to another edition of I've Got a Secret. As the first order of business tonight, I would like you to meet our panel. First, of course, there is Bill Cullen. Beat him, Bucks. <laughs> What's that? Beat him, Bucks. That's what the Pittsburgh fans say. Isn't that kind of a quaint expression after today? <laughs> wait till next year. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait till, wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Yes, actually, Bill, I, I thought it was kind of thrilling the way the, last, the, way the, the Yankees managed to eke out a victory. Yeah, another 27 they innings they might have caught. They They've been eking all month. <laughs> <laughs> However, let's go to happier faces. Here is Betsy Palmer. Beat him, Bugs. And Bugs. Henry Morgan. Bugs. Henry Morgan. Bugs. Nothing. <laughs> and Beth Myers. Let's go, Yankees. <laughs> and may we have our first contestant, please. Will you come up? Now then, if you will tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you are from. Mr. and Mrs. Berry from Warren, Ohio. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Clifford Berry of Warren, Ohio. Now, Mr. Berry, I know that you went out to the track today to watch the races with a member of our production staff. We arranged it that you did. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yes. How'd you come out on the best? Oh, let's just say I was there. <laughs> you came in second best, huh? That's it, all day. Mrs. Berry, did you have a nice day today? I sure did. Good. Now, normally at this point, I would ask Mr. and Mrs. Berry to whisper their secret to me, but tonight I'm not going to. Mr. Berry, do you like surprises? Oh, yes. Well, we have a little surprise for you. To begin with, I am going to tell the panel and the audience what your secret is. That is the secret that you thought we were going to play tonight, which it turns out we're not. It's truly a remarkable secret. Mr. and Mrs. Berry, as young looking as they are, are the parents of, are you ready, 18 children. <laughs> There is a picture of 16 of the children. Can you hand me the other one? The other two were not yet born at the time this was taken. Here is a picture of the two added berries. All right. All right. Now, don't you look over my shoulder, because I got surprises for you. All right. To begin with, I can't wait. Well, she knows. Mr. Berry, I don't imagine the man who has 18 children is easily surprised, but we're always trying. Mrs. Berry does have a secret for the panel to guess. And Mr. Berry will give you a couple of cracks at trying to guess her secret, too, along with the panel. It's oh, something I, entirely I new you never heard oh, about. Oh, I do, too. So, Mrs. Berry, if you'll whisper your secret to me, we'll show it to the audience at home. All right, and, and, and what, what's the rest of it? <laughs> well, final clue to Mrs. Berry's secret concerns something that she did, and we'll start with Bill Cullen, please. Something yes. that she did. Miss <laughs> <laughs> um, Berry, did you do this thing yourself? Yes. Did you do it while Mr. Berry was at the races today? Yes, I did. Oh, they sneaked him out there, and you did something. <laughs> did it have anything to do, Mrs. Berry, with spending money? There was money expended, but not important. Uh, really, I no. mean, was it? it's not important to the secret. Was it a physical thing, Mrs. Berry? Yes. All right, twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go. We go, please, to Betsy. Did it have something to do with children, Mrs. Berry? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to get Betsy some more. <laughs> say this, that I am sure I know what is in everybody's mind, and that ain't it. <laughs> All right, forget the thought and continue right. with the game. <laughs> and you look considerably better. <laughs> Mrs. Barry, did it have something to do with the uh, Columbus Day Parade today? No. 
Did it have something to do with someone else besides yourself? Uh, no, not really. There were other people indirectly involved. Forty dollars down and forty dollars to go. We go, please, to Henry Morgan. Maybe she gave well, I would just like to go on record as saying it was not in my mind. <laughs> oh, for you. Now then. What a good Did you? I don't believe you. Henry, your halo is tarnished. <laughs> it's wiggling a little, isn't it? <laughs> Did it have anything to do with baseball, Mrs. Berry? No. I figured, you know, 18 kids, you got two ball clubs right there. <laughs> Is that what you had in mind? No. <laughs> Betsy, if you don't hush. I'm not saying anything. You babbling. <laughs> oh, I'm not thinking condition. because I'm listening to you. <laughs> um, Sixty dollars down, twenty dollars to go. We go to Fort Myers. <laughs> now, uh, Mrs. Berry, um, this happened today. Oh, yeah. It happened in New York. <laughs> no. Oh, it didn't. Were you there when it happened? Oh, he's, a, he's worried. Now, let's see. Were you... He then you the horse. Wait a minute. Were, were you there when it happened? Yes. You participated in it. It was out of New York. Was it at home? Did you go home? No. No. All oh, right, there's $80 she down. Technically, the technically we've lost the game. Mr. Berry, do you have any ideas? Any questions you'd like to ask her? There's 118 kids coming in here. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have your 18 kids backstage. No. no. How about the racetrack, Mr. Berry? I mean, did she go to the racetrack yeah, while he was did. at the racetrack? Yes. No, that's no. not it. That's not it. I tell you, now, with 18 kids, we felt that Mrs. Berry could use a little relaxation, and really, New York, whatever else it may be, is certainly not a relaxing city. So, Mr. Berry, Mrs. Berry's secret is that while you were at the racetrack today, your wife flew to Bermuda for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Henry. I have just turned into a lawyer on behalf of the panel. We're we going to bring object. suit against you because nobody on God's earth could guess a thing like that. <laughs> we don't try to pick things where you can guess. You know. <laughs> Mrs. Berry was picked up at the... Well, uh, by, by the way, in the, in the past couple of weeks, have you ever, uh, were you at all suspicious that Mrs. Berry was keeping a secret from you? No. Not at all. No, no, no. Was it fun down there in Bermuda? Yes, it was. All right, Mrs. Berry was picked up at the hotel at 9.30 this morning by Natalie Jones of our production staff, and they told Mr. Berry that they were going to just go out and do a little shopping. Actually, they took a limousine to the airport. We sent a cameraman along to photograph Mrs. Berry in Bermuda, and if we can open the curtain, there's a monitor backstage on which we can look at the film, which was developed just about one hour ago. All right, Frank, if you'll roll the film, Mrs. Berry can help describe the film, which, incidentally, she has not seen before. <laughs> Try to tell us what's going on here, Mrs. Berry. Well, this is uh, when we were on our way, and that is the time we arrived in Bermuda. That clock is in Bermuda, quarter of one, beautiful day. Now we're getting off the plane. Mm -hmm. There's she went to Yeah, there's Natalie Jones. Natalie went with him, and there's the Bermuda Air Terminal. People in Bermuda shorts. Here we're entering the terminal. Uh -huh. <laughs> For me, okay. And now we're getting in the cab. And now you're wondering if it's really you. <laughs> There's the main street in Hamilton, Bermuda. As you can see, a nice, warm, sunny day. And there we go from the cab to the Surrey. <laughs> Little Surrey with the famous Bermuda bells on them. There's the Bermuda policeman. And off you go, clippity-clop. <laughs> and here's further treks down the main street of Hamilton. Did you like the city of Hamilton? It's quite pretty. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Was it as warm there as it is here? Oh, it's today? very warm. Really? It's much warmer. Here is the ocean on the, the ocean side of the island. So if I, oh, and you we went, went swimming. swimming. Oh, yes, we went, <laughs> went swimming today. For heaven's sake. There's the United Nations building. Oh, no. No. <laughs> and there's Gary. And you went sailing? We went sailing. <laughs> it's a beautiful, lovely, mild day for sailing. Do you believe it, Mr. Barry? Fine. Is it your wife? <laughs> you That's her. And this, here they are, I must tell you, sitting down to a sumptuous lunch, which they never got to finish, because by that time, it was time to get back on the airplane and come home. <laughs> and they never got to finish their lunch. They had to hold the plane five minutes for them to make it. And there they go, back on their way to New York, arriving here at 3 o'clock.
Mr. Barry, it's uh, kind of a dirty trick. Uh, it was must have been fun at the races, but it's nothing like going to Bermuda. It's a shame it couldn't have gone. Would you hope someday to go to Bermuda? One day, maybe. How about tomorrow? <laughs> What's he going to do? Well, here are the tickets in the hotel reservation. And uh, the two of you will go, and this time you'll have more time to look around and lie on the beach. And thank you both very much for <laughs>